Today's medical-centric topic is Unveiling Typhus A Closer Look at Its Causes, Symptoms, and Diagnosis In today's video, we're exploring typhus, a significant global health challenge. This condition, introduced by rickettsia bacteria transmitted by fleas, lice, and mites, has complex implications for human health. Our journey will cover the essential facets of typhus, including its causes, symptoms, and the critical steps for its diagnosis, aiming to illuminate the intricacies of this disease. Causes Typhus is not just a single entity, but a group of infectious diseases, each linked to different rickettsia species. The primary culprits include Epidemic typhus, caused by rickettsia proazaki, transmitted by the body louse. Endemic murine typhus, resulting from rickettsia typhi, carried by fleas. Scrub typhus, caused by Orentia sutsagomushi, transmitted by chigger mites. Transmission to humans occurs when they are bitten by these infected vectors, introducing the bacteria into the bloodstream, where it multiplies and triggers the disease. Symptoms the symptoms of typhus may initially mimic those of other diseases, but typically include high fever and severe headache, chills, muscle aches, and a general feeling of malaise, a rash that begins a few days after the fever, starting on the trunk and spreading to the limbs, but usually sparing the face, palms, and soles. In severe cases, symptoms may progress to confusion, stupor, seizures, and even coma. Diagnosis Diagnosing typhus accurately is crucial for effective treatment. The process involves A thorough clinical evaluation, taking into account the patient's symptoms and history of exposure to potential vectors. Blood tests to identify antibodies to rickettsia bacteria or DNA evidence of the bacteria itself. In some settings, skin biopsy from the rash site may be performed for definitive identification. Prevention and Treatment Preventative measures are key in controlling typhus outbreaks. These include Reducing exposure to the vectors through improved sanitation, use of insect repellents, and wearing protective clothing. In endemic areas, community health strategies such as vector control and awareness campaigns are vital. Effective treatment typically involves the administration of antibiotics, with doxycycline being the treatment of choice. Early diagnosis and treatment are critical to prevent complications and improve outcomes. In wrapping up, today's discussion on typhus underscores the importance of understanding the disease's dynamics. Awareness, early detection, and preventative measures are our best tool in combating the spread of typhus and safeguarding public health. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.